Alright, so it's Vera again, and this will be a tutorial on tutorial, quote unquote, on Bill Floor's crown, and it's from Twenty K Man Reborn. I'm doing the ten years earlier version. Uh, materials you, the method I'm using is exactly the same, except for like slight differences from Foxtails. So if you want to see the original process. You can actually check out Foxtail. He's somewhere on YouTube. He's a really cool Zonzas and Bell for cool play too. Um, the materials you will need. One, you definitely want reference. Reference is always good. You should have that to go by. Scrap paper so you can do all your measurements and your calculations. This is literally scrap, and this is where I did my template of the crown. Uh, I'm using glue gun as a filler, just like uh, Xbox Tail is. So, glue gun, and of course, the little refill sticks that go along with it. We also need a pair of scissors at the end to cut. And this is where it go, becomes different. The stuff I'm using is a clear folder. I just got this off of a hotel chain or something. It's pretty cheap. It's durable stuff. So, let's see. Um, how I. And of course, you need a headband. I forgot about that. This is a pink one. It's wrapped in ribbon. I probably won't use this because it's thick, long hair. But if I can't find anything else, then I'll use that one. Uh, of course, I'll take off the ribbon first. Uh, to measure for measuring purposes, I can't really tell you how I did it. Um, I can say that you definitely want to find a headband that fits you first, or fits the person you're making it for. I just chose a small one because she can just kind of stretch it out. It's for a friend. Uh, I'm looking at you, Cookie. Yeah, it's for you. So, what I did was I folded the paper in half, found the middle of the headband on the side, and using my cousin's head as a scale, I tested out how much of the crown I actually wanted on the by the headband, and. Some people they do the entire length of the headband, the crown along the entire length of the headband. You can do that, but I just find the crown looks really big when you do that. So I actually spent like a couple minutes trying to scale the crown. So I took strips of paper, I cut them to different sizes, I taped them on the headband, and then I, using my imagination, I kind of guessed how big the crown would be on the head. And my final calculations, and then by using simple algebra and mathematics, in other words, I measured out the reference picture, scaled it out, and then enlarged it on my paper. The bottom across I have for my measurements is 20 from end to end, and 6 up and down. Of course, you can go bigger, you can go smaller. It just happens to be that my face happens to be a tad bit narrower, I have a longer face. So I based it on that. You don't, if you're using a clear folder, you don't have to cut the template out. What you can literally do is take the template, slip it into the folder, just slip it into the folder, fold it over, and do it like this. Uh, for safe measure, if you don't want the template moving or anything, tape it into place. Or you can take a pen and you just lightly trace it out. I did both, and it's just because I'm paranoid. Um, you definitely want to cover your workspace because it could get messy. Uh, bit of warning if you're using a clear folder. It is plastic. My glue gun is pretty cheap. Even though it says high temp, it doesn't actually get that hot. So I actually have to wait like a long time for the glue to come out. And then when the glue comes out, it's actually not that melted. Some of the glue guns are really good quality. They were really hot. If you touch the tip to the plastic, there's a chance the plastic 
case can actually warp or melt. Uh, you can try to take a gamble with it. I know for a fact that my glue gun is not that hot and the plastic I'm using is actually pretty good durable stuff. So, I can't really show the process because I finished it earlier on this morning. It's like noon now, so it's hard. But what I did was... I took the cover. You can't really see because of the leg, but I took the cover. I placed it on top of the template and took a pen and traced along the lines. I also taped down the template to the paper in the back so it didn't move when I was gluing it. And after that, I just simply took the glue gun and I glued along the lines, filling up in the center. Uh, I'm doing this because the pl clear plastic is too thin and it looks really flimsy and poorly done if you use it in cosplay. So the only reason why I'm using the glue gun on it is because I want it to be more durable and thicker so it looks better in photos. That's pretty much it. For the crown on the details, like the little ridges on the side, I'm actually going to show you that later. So I glued and glued and glued and glued and my final product is actually this is my final product. This is the side I glued on. It's really dirty. It's sloppy. It's really sloppy. Like you can see the work I did. It's really sloppy. But this is the side that's going to be on the inside. I'm not using the side. Actually, this is just to make it thicker. If I can show you, it's basically the only reason I'm using it is to make it thicker. However, if I turn it around, I have the side that's very smooth. And this is where I'm actually going to do all the detail work. Like this. This was just a test on the inside. But this is basically where I'm doing all the detail work. And all, as well as that, all the ridges along the side here. You can see I traced it out with pen. It makes it a lot easier when I cut it out. So that's what I'm going to do. Of course, you want durable scissors because you're cutting through glue and everything back and uh, this is my final product after I cut it out. This is the smooth side where the clear folder is on the surface. This is the glued side. There's glue on the side. You can see where I did a bit of a trial run but I cut this out with, I cut the long the bottom with scissor and I usually mostly use knife. If you find it hard to cut with scissors, go ahead and use a knife. Just be careful because uh, you let it cool completely because if you put it on thick, the glue inside still could be a bit wet and you don't want glue on your blade. So heat up the glue gun again. And now you should have reference beside you or in front of you. This is what I'm using. And this is where I'm going to do the little ridges here the patterning and I'll do that with the glue gun and I use a smooth side of this to do it. So, so for again, and I skipped a bit of the steps. So um, as I mentioned before uh, I glued down this, this stuff. I applied glue to make it the plastic thick and then I used the glue on the plastic side to do the detailing like the ridges and centerpiece for Bell's crown. So there are better pictures, I think, on the comments because I don't know about the video quality. But this is what I have. 
I glued these down on the plastic side. It's nothing but glue. Uh, you probably won't get something as nice as this. I didn't get it on my first try. And that's why you have this. This is your friend. Uh, if you've seen my other tutorial, particularly with the Keybright QA tutorial, you see, you notice uh, that I tend to use the glue as a bonding or decorating agent, and then I cut off any glue I don't need. And this is the same concept. This is why I wanted, this is why I did the detailing on the plastic side rather than the glued side. Because if I do it on the plastic side, I can actually take a knife, cut out the finer details really easily. Like for the main centerpiece, this drop right here, it's actually hollowed out inside. And that's because I simply just took a knife and I started trimming it out. It's not that hard, you just need a good light source. And this will be painted in silver, of course. So I'll just show you what I was doing. So, this piece right here, it's a bit lopsided, so I would probably just trim it down, take my nail, and pick up the other excess pieces, like that, and I did it for the entire thing, I did it for this, drop in the center, here. I also did it for the little diamond on the top, as well as this little curve. I'm going to do it for the rest of the curves, and all the little other curves down the side. I already trimmed down the excess for the side ridges, and I recommend you get a really, really sharp knife for this, because dull knives are in general are pretty dangerous. Uh, a sharper knife is less dangerous than a dull knife when you're using it, so get a sharper knife when you do this. I actually sharpened my old one, my old scuffle blade, but I still found it wasn't sharp enough for this job because the glue is tacky and I need a clean cut against the glue. So I actually took a new blade out. So all I'm doing is literally see glued parts that are not really clean. I'm just cutting it out. Uh, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. It's just detail. I'm a detail-oriented person, so you find that I do a lot of detail for my stuff.